once we are done with the header section we will go with the left section and the right section at the bottom okay. we'll definitely give different colors to okay let me first remove this hello text because this is the outer container right if i'll click on this div i have the end tag highlighted because we are obviously using notepad plus plus right this is the help that it provides us it also shows us a line over here which you know you might not be able to appreciate right now but you definitely once we write a few more lines of HTML uh, markup over here you will definitely appreciate the help it provides in identifying the uh, starting tags and the closing tags of all the sections now this dev is the outer body of our website now I want to have a division for the header I would name it as header and I'll close the header section now this is where my header would be right so I've given a header uh, div I'll give I will create another div for my body container fine now what we are what we are trying to do is we have a div for the header as you can see over here and we have a div for and we have a div for this whole section over here now inside this section we will have divs for the left section and we will have div for the right section now we will we save this page for now and we will refresh the page in the browser that we are looking at right now it shows you that it has a header section and it has a body container now although we have two different divs the one that is you know uh, that contains the header text over here and the one that contains the body container text over here but because we haven't given them different colors so we are not able to uh, you know we are not able to identify them separately so just for the time being we'll take out these colors at a later stage let me give some inline style to my header div and I will give it a background color as yellow and a semicolon if I refresh this you can see that my header section got a color fine so that we can identify easily the body contain the body container dev I'll give it a style um, let me give it a color orange I'll save this file and I'll refresh my file okay. in case you go and refresh your uh, website and you don't see the changes uh, in the browser just make sure that you s go back and you save your file and then you come back and click refresh again now you can clearly see that we have a header section over here and we have a body container section over here right? uh, the header section definitely has to be given some height even if you look again on the paint uh, uh, visualization that we have the header section definitely has some height now in our styles for the header section over here we'll give it a height of say 200 pixels I saved my file and I'll go and refresh my file so I can see that I have a header section of 200 pixels fine. then a body container then a body container which will have left sections and right sections for the time being I would only focus on the header section which has a yellow color right now you know which obviously does not look good we'll do something else with this uh, as I told you the header sections you have uh, you know sorry as I told you the header sections you have you can use them for putting up your banners you can use them for putting up your logos your site names etc whatever you want the 
you know whatever look and feel you want for your website yellow is definitely not the color you would want for your header section so let me remove this yellow color from here I just removed my yellow color from the inline style that I have for the header uh, div and I saved my file and I refreshed uh, my page. Let's also remove the silver color that we have for the outer container because the only motive for providing it a silver color was to see the whole div in the browser properly. Now that we actually know how does this look, so let me just go back and remove the silver color style also from the outer div that we have. I'll save my file and I'll refresh my page. Now you can clearly see that you have a header over here and we know that it, this header has uh, a height of 200 pixels and you can clearly see that we have a body container. Now we definitely we will be uh, dividing the body container into the left section and the right section. We'll put the menus in the left, we'll put the content on the right hand side. But before we do that, let's shape our header properly and then we'll start working on the body container that we have. Now, uh, what I'll do in this, uh, you know, in this page is let me, okay, let me use the banner that I have on my Mindfield Labs uh, website. Let me use the same banner that I have over here and I'll put this banner on the header section that I have uh, in the website I'm creating right now. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go back uh, to my website mindfullabs.com and I would simply right click on okay, it has some problem I think so okay now this is fine I would because I'm using Mozilla you can see this menu I uh, you know uh, this context menu when I right click on the uh, when I right click on my banner if you're using Internet Explorer if you're using Chrome you might see some other uh, context menu but what we intend to do is we intend to click on the view background image option and you can see the background image displayed over here in the browser right i will save this image i'll give it some simple name let me just call it mindfield and i'll put it in the d mindfield temp website images folder this is the folder we created you know earlier uh, when I told you that we'll be keeping our images in this folder so I'll save my banner I'll just click back on my website okay we saved our banner over here in the images folder that we have fine now what we intend to do is we intend to put this banner over here in the header section for the website that we are creating Okay, by the way, I didn't mention this, but you can see a Mindfield Software Solution uh, title over here, and you can also see the Mindfield Software Solutions title. Sorry, you can also see the Mindfield Software Solutions title on the uh, title bar for the Mozilla uh, browser that you are using. You'll see it over here, even in case you are using Internet Explorer or you are using Chrome or for that matter for any other browser that you are using. Okay, this uh, title over here, the tab name is uh, you know shown over here because we gave a title to our page okay now let's put a header image for our website okay, now this is the dev that contains the header section let me uh, remove the text that we have over here and let me give it a style which says background colon now look at the way we provide a background to any uh, HTML tag that you have. This is the way you will provide a background in case you have uh, a paragraph tag, in case you have a span tag, any other tag that you have, uh, you know, obviously a table tag. Now, any tag that you have to provide it a background, we use background colon URL. Now this is the URL, this is the path of the image you want to display this is the path of the image you want to display in this section in the header section now one thing that you have to remember is that when you work on HTML um, uh, one thing you have to remember is that when you work on HTML websites you have to 
take care about the paths that you provide for your images etc it's extremely important for you to understand the way we provide paths for the images or for the you know anchor tags or for the you know uh, css link tags or the javascript uh, you know resources that we have all the paths that you have they have to be in a relative format now they should not be in in an absolute format all the path that we give for you know the websites that we create they are in a relative format now let me first explain what we mean by absolute format absolute format means in case i am planning to add this banner image to my header section the path to this image the absolute path to this image would be if i copy this whole path if i copy this whole path now this becomes the absolute path for my uh, for my image now absolute paths are not desired when you are working on html websites because when we'll make our site live it will go on a server uh, we'll be given some space say on a shared server we'll be given some space and you have absolutely no idea which drive your folder resides in right so we go with a relative format and relative format says that we are trying to put an image in this index.html file now when this file runs in the browser right, the image is placed relative to the index.html file by this we mean that in case you are uh, looking at index.html of your website there's a there's a folder by the name images which contains mind field dot jpg image now this becomes the relative path relative path says according to the index.html file wherever it is placed there's a folder by the name images kept at the same level in which you have the index.html file if you have the index.html file over here you have the images folder also over here and inside this images folder you have minefield.jpg uh, uh, banner so this becomes the relative path now if you upload your website onto any server in this world you will not have to worry about which drive you are getting space in or which folder you are keeping your website all that matters is that the index.html page that you have it will have an images folder kept at the same level and this images folder will have the minefield.jpg uh, banner that will display on our website more if you want to research on this you can definitely search google for relative uh, uh, paths and for absolute paths in the html file okay now having said this this is the relative path that we have and we will provide a url uh, i'm sure it's not case sensitive but just to be on the safe side i'll make it i i think uh, my images folder i is capital okay maybe uh, let's try with this in case we are not able to see the uh, banner image we'll go and uh, we'll, we'll come back and change the path for this now this line says this inline style says that we provided a background uh, to our header section and the way of provide uh,